Yo, what's going on guys? It's me Bristol and welcome back to Martha is Dead. Um, on the last episode, we went on a little side quest that um, took us down a different path. Um, we had to choose whether to be on the resistance side or be on our father's side, I guess, with the commanders and the soldiers. Uh, we decided to go with the resistance um, and we ended up helping um, Lapo and Martha, I believe in locating the uh, the soldiers that were behind the gate. Uh, we had to use a little telegraph and it was, it was very interesting. It took a while but um, we ended up back at putting the flag onto the telephone pole and um, yeah so what we're gonna do today is get back into the story. Uh, we need to uh, meet the white lady um, we also need, we also unlocked another bit to, um, to follow the raven. And yeah, we're going to jump into that. So without further ado, let's jump into Martha is dead. Okay, so um, on the, the objectives, we need to break through it to its foggy to take a picture of the um, graveyard that the spirit was at. So we're going to, we're going to follow the raven for a little bit and see what happens with this. Um, hopefully it doesn't take us on a big side side mission, but we're gonna follow and see what happens. Okay, it's getting a bit weird already from the start. Oh, what's this? made from the same fabric I found a shred of next to the lake. In fact, it is torn. Okay. It must be my mother's. My goodness. Ooh. Okay. I started to suspect that Mummy could have been involved in Martha's murder. Lost in these thoughts, hours passed, and I completely forgot about the funeral. When I realized it was evening, they were already carrying the coffin towards the cemetery. She never loved me, I knew that well. But I would never have believed that. Had it been her, I struggled to believe it, but it made so much sense. At the lake, she must have thought Martha was me because she was convinced that I was dead. Okay. So what that's entailing is that the mother actually killed Martha, thinking it was Julia. Hmm. Very interesting. Very interesting. When the funeral ended, I felt an irresistible urge to play. I loved music. I started playing without thinking about the possible consequences. I didn't care anymore. I needed to feel alive, to exist again. So we've got to like disable this because of the copyright stuff. So put on some really good music that would suit this 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 bit. What's going on here, Julia? Oh, is that you? No, it's not possible. Martha's never played. She's deaf, yet... No. This is madness. My God. So, Martha? I understand now. You can get all of the attention, right? You were jealous, weren't you? Because she was a wonderful girl and, and you're just a useless little slut. Whoa, okay. How did you manage to convince her? I get it now. But she... she talked to me. I... I... no. It doesn't make sense. I will have you locked up in an asylum. You hear? That's enough. You will pay for what you've done, you cursed lunatic. They will torture you to reveal the monsters in your head. Hmm. Huh. Okay. Huh? 
Her words were as sharp as blades. Okay, I tried so... to tell her that it wasn't me. I showed her the photos I developed that proved my innocence. But she grew all the more angry, calling me crazy, and then... She began to hit me with everything she had at hand. I closed my eyes as more darkness began to take over in me. Memories came flooding back. Not memories of actual past events, but more so of feelings. Feelings I had when I was little. They were scary. They were the fears of a little girl. Despite what had happened, I went walking in the woods early the next morning to meet the lady. The evening before, my father had tried desperately to console me. Talk to me, Julia. You know I love you. I just want to understand what happened. I am happy you are alive. Even if we have that lost seems mother. Very slow. Your mother was just in shock. She didn't want to hurt you. She didn't want to hurt you. New chapter, The White Lady. Okay, so let's do the tarot cards. This one. Judgment. This one. Justice. And let's go to this one. Strength. I will succeed in the end. I'm going to enjoy what I deserve. But uncertainty and resistance to change are making my life very difficult. Okay. So it's actually foggy, so we can go to this bit over here. I don't know what I'm hoping to find, but what else can I do? Um, I will hopefully see if one of these graves is hiding something. Camera. I hope that the infrared film will show me. And then put the infrared film on, uh, which is this one. Tripod, too dark, put a flash on it. Face with shaded air, shaded outside areas or well lit interiors. Yes. Pop experience that flame is too distant. So we'll then we'll go Skabuski and then Culture Focus. Um, let's go forward a little bit. Subject framed. Priors add ons. I think I should do. Um, focus. Yes. Required add-ons. What? Uh, okay. Here we go. Nice. Wait. Don't even do it. Okay. Um. So. The lover. Develop the photo and check if there's anything unusual. My personal object. Look at the map. Okay, so let's go down to the lake and 
uh, which is this way. Set the map. So we've got the. De we need to develop the photo when we, when we get back, but we'll go to the lady first, and um, it saves us going back all the way back there to come all the way back to the lake, which makes perfect sense in my eyes. I hope. I believe it will work, but um, if it doesn't, then the power of editing will sort all that out. And I wonder if we can use the, the photo, the telephone to phone up the rest of the people now that they know that, that mother knows we're Martha, we're not Martha, we're Julia. Hmm. There's the grave I've been searching for, the spirit of a prisoner. Just like the White Lady, he's trapped in this world, but they can no longer meet one another. Evil is separating them. Oh. Okay, interesting. What's she get? If I wear this, it should allow me to make contact with her. With this object, she'll have to hear me. I have no doubt. Okay. I'm missing the element that connects my world to that of the White Lady. Oh, the lake. Of course. Why didn't I think of it sooner? The dress that I threw in the bushes that cursed day. It's been sitting beside the lake for a few days now, in a world that is both mine and hers. Okay. Aha, uh -huh. okay, so it makes sense. Let's we'll go back to the lake. Okay, so we throw in the bushes. Aha, uh -huh. here's the dress. Here it is. I hope it works. Okay, flip it on. Now that I have everything I need to communicate with the lady, I can finally go to the island. Okay. Let's scrabush again and then we'll carry on. Oh, watch your step. Perfect parking. Just step. Just gonna rope it up. I'm gonna rope it up, and if it, okay. Your loss. Okay. Is there anything around here? No. Let's go to the tree. This is the tree the lover was hung from, according to the legend. Okay. So what do we do? We do... This one. The lover's necklace. What do we do? Okay. Put the, put the dress in the necklace on. Oh, a roll of film. It's the one that I was taking out of the camera just before I discovered Martha's body. It should contain shots from before that moment. Oh. With a bit of luck, one of the shots has captured the moment of Martha's murder. I will then finally have an answer. Was it really Mummy? I will develop it as soon as I can, but now it's time to speak with the white lady. Okay, okay. Film in the dress. Okay, let's put this on. I will wear her lover's cross to draw her to me. of me 
a lock of my hair to enter into her world. I will use the tarot cards to communicate with her. The first ten will be used like I did with Nanny. Once two cards have been chosen, it should begin. Okay. You camouflage yourself in the woods to approach me. You blend in with the water to make yourself known. You wish to communicate with me through the energy of symbols. You use my pain to summon me. You are very bold. You call upon me for knowledge that I do not possess. For answers I do not have. I am only a vessel. Like water, like air. A vessel to move and breathe. It worked. Now I need to choose two cards. Here we go. Uh, let's go for this one. The High Priestess. Priest. P Priestess? And then give this one. The daughter, the house, the mother. The daughter comes from the mother's house, then makes herself a home and becomes a mother. This cycle is broken. To undo the knot, find the son. He is the original sin reflected on you. The one who gave you the light wishes to take it back. She wants control. Bit by bit, she is crumbling your life. You have to stop her. Okay. The tower. And then we'll do this one. Chariot. You do not have control of yourself. There is a dark figure inside you. The wounds are feeding it. It will do things you do not like. It will use your desires, your guilt, the darkest parts of your conscience. We don't do all ten of them? The Hanged Man. The Fool. You will no longer be able to tell light from darkness. In sorrow, the difference is so subtle. You are alone, and you will remain alone. Memories are abandoning you. They are your only true companions. Now they take the place of your happy childhood, and they may return to keep you company. The stars... Death. I can sense that you want to know who did it, but I do not have the answer. You must find it yourself. Do not ever try to enter through the front door if you wish to reach the heart. Your twin sister might have the answer you are looking for. Even after death, we leave traces of ourselves, don't we? Everything is indefinite if you look at the essence of things. Okay. The moon. The devil. Part of our soul embraces the people we love. 
It is then torn away from us when these people disappear. The wound is deep and it cannot heal. Faith vacillates. Death causes fear. But the church is a safe place. It is home and mother to its children. Faith is the light. Do not lose it. Finding it again is almost impossible. I lost it in sorrow, and without time, I am lost in the dark. <gasps> oh shit. Okay. Did she, did she grab us and put us into the water? Yes, you did. Okay, we can. Okay, we have to swim across. So we can't go through the front door. Our father is our light, and the mother is trying to. Humble us from what I took from that. There's a piece of Martha that we need to find, which I'm guessing is in the trinket box because we can't open that yet. Um, and the church is a safe place. Towards the light, I guess. Oh, it is an actual. It's that's actual light. <laughs> okay. Oh wait, what? Okay, what's that? What are we looking for then? Okay. Um, there's a tree. Let's go to the tree. There's a lady. Is that a lady? So this is my fur. Oh, okay. Speaking with the white lady confused me even more, but at least now I have this key. That's Martha's trinket box, right? Where am I to? I'm looking up in the sky. So can we? Open a box? Yes. <gasps> we can! Nice! What's inside? Pokemon cards. No? Okay, a letter. July 16th. Dear sister, I entrust my secrets to this letter. If you are reading it, things have gone as I thought they might, and I am no longer there with you. First of all, I am not deaf, and I never was. Okay. Mother scared me when we were little, so I decided not to speak or listen anymore. It worked. In fact, Mother began to love me. They also found a scientific explanation for my deafness. 
neurological damage caused by excessive pressure exerted by the twin during pregnancy progressively led to hearing loss. And like that, <laughs> my decision was also transformed into a fault of yours. So I must put it right. Do I have any other secrets? Unfortunately, yes, but a letter is too cold for such matters. Now that you know that I can speak, please go to the dark room. I have a hidden recording. Listen to it and you will hear my voice. Farewell, Martha. Oh. Why all of this madness, Martha? What okay. else have you been hiding from me? You deprived me of your voice for more than 15 years. Wow. I can't wait to hear it now. 15 years. Hello. There is nothing here. Old recording. 15 years of being of playing death. Wow. <clears throat> Hi, Julia. I know that this will seem absurd, but this is me and this is my voice. We are equals in this sense, too. Well, it's obvious, really. I've basically always spoken and you were my voice. I'm going to meet my fate, so I don't want there to be any more secrets between us. I have to tell you that I'm... I'm pregnant, Julia. <gasps> I'm pregnant with Lapo's baby. <gasps> we had sex, and I never had the courage to tell you. I was so afraid of hurting you. I'm so ashamed. And now, how can I ever bring this child into the world? The baby is starting to show. Could you tell? That's why I'm no longer getting undressed in front of you. But for how much longer can I hide it? Yesterday, you asked me to go to the lake together early in the morning. You, the sleepyhead, early. I asked you to switch beds with me, like we used to when we were little girls. I got up at dawn and didn't wake you. I put on one of your dresses. I should put on one of my dresses. I've got to put one of the dresses on. Okay. So let's go in here. I wrote a card to mother telling her that it was you who was pregnant, not me and to come and see at the lake. I left it on the desk in her room. Oh, this is cool. So we're playing out the, the story of Martha as she was doing all these things. And then put on here. Dear, uh, dear mother, this is hard to tell about some day. I found out that Julia is pregnant to the lake before Martha. How can I... Then I felt the need to talk to you, and I remembered the recorder in the dark room. Okay, so let's go down to the dark room. The, the, the dark room. Come on, I come, I can't run anymore. Everything you never had the courage to tell her. I will be your voice. I know how much she's made you suffer over the years. Unlike you, I remember all of the harm she has done to you, and it is my fault. Take my place, sister. You will live a better life, and I will be able to rest in peace, knowing that I at least tried to put right what I have done wrong. I will go now. My last memory will be the image of you sleeping peacefully. Wow. Hi, Julia. I was upset, unbelievably upset. July 16th, that cursed day. Martha didn't wake me up. Okay, so we have to... Martha wasn't there and we were supposed to go to the lake together. She even made her bed, which was unusual. I thought Mother woke up early, despite her medication, and asked her to do something. Mm. 
Okay. There was a dress missing from my wardrobe. And then picked up a bag. This is so interesting now. So, 15 years. Um, is there anything else? How do we get outside? Oh. It was late. Martha hadn't woken me up as we had agreed. And I always overslept. I simply decided to go out and take the photographs by myself without Martha. Okay. Here we go. It was a foggy morning, but it was no longer dawn. It was a sign of something terrible. So interesting. My mother had killed her beloved Martha with her own hands. I had then taken her place, usurping the throne of her affection. She would have never forgiven me. I had real reason to be afraid. Oh. So, the mother always knew that Martha was actually dead, but played it off to try and... Oh, this is weird. So, hmm. so, Martha was not actually deaf. She could speak and... I searched for one of Daddy's okay. pistols to defend myself. What a stupid little girl I was. In really? spite of everything, that roll of film still needed developing. Even if it didn't prove she was guilty. I also wanted to search for proof of Martha's pregnancy. So search for... of an Indian division crossed the river Pesa on a vast front and they advanced two kilometers south of Monte Lungo. Meanwhile, the New Zealand units have reinforced their positions that run from San Michel to La Romola. Near La Romola, the Michelangelesque villa of the E family. Where the radio K needs to be kept on at all times these the days. It can save Luckily, your life knowing things on time, especially before they happen. The and once again, La Romola has been the site of graphic... General Edic K. New rules on curfew and women's field. behavior. Nobody has uh, claimed sorry. responsibility for yet another act of senseless vandalism. But at the scene, an anti-cluster... This is our room. So we need to go... This is the civilization that our comrades are proposing. So, from what I can gather so far... Martha wasn't deaf and she hid it for 15 years. She had sex and was pregnant with Lapo's baby, which was Julia's boyfriend. So I didn't know what's going on with that. She told the mother that she was pregnant, well, that Julia was pregnant and to meet her by the lake, but then told, started speaking to her, her mother down at the lake, which at this point we think that the mother killed Martha knowing of what she did and so we kind of she kind of set up Julia to think that she was dead and we took her place but then the mother knew that Martha was actually dead and played played it out that Julia didn't know so then Julia pretended to be Martha until the mother seen Julia play the piano and got pissy, call her crazy, even though she already knew that Martha was dead. 
Is that right? I think I got that right. Telegram. I'll leave it in the letterbox. Have a good day. Another telegram of condolence. Isn't it a bit late? You've got mail. Dear Mrs. Irene K. Following your call, we have received a telegram from Dr. D. Dr. Your request D. has been accepted. As soon as the police station issues authorization, we will send for the girl. While we wait, to avoid the girl taking any extreme actions, as per the fears you have expressed, we ask that you trust in the advice of her treating physician. I thank you for your generous and charitable donation to our institution. Director S. Volterra okay. Psychiatric Hospital. Telephone 0782. Now that she has discovered everything, oh, she wants to lock me up in an asylum. Or maybe even worse, she wants to kill me and have everyone believe it was suicide. She is preparing all the finer details. Commune of San Casciano, Province of Florence. Death Certificate. From the Register of Death Certificates of this Commune, Number 174, Part 3. Series 12 of the year 1944. It is certified that on the day of the 16th of July of the year 1944, Julia Kay has died. Okay, we'll stop Resident that. We've read that already. We need to read that again. What happens if we ring up the asylum and be like, Hey, we don't need to be there anymore. Thank you. Let's do that. So, so zero... Seven, eight, two. Volterra Psychiatric Hospital, how may I help you? Um, request information. Hello, we recently requested the admission of Julia Kay to the hospital. I just wanted to know whether it would be possible to cancel the request. I'm sorry, but the request was issued by the municipality where you reside, madam. Any revocation of the request should be passed by them. Only they can decide whether to approve of the cancellation or not. Have you already received the telegram confirming that we have taken charge of the request? Yes. Yes, I just received the telegram. Okay, so the admission will continue at this time. You can get back in touch with our institution later for more information. Please bear in mind that everything will depend on the designated doctor's assessment. Please come here in person around one month after the admission. Thank you. Goodbye, madam. Okay. So what happens if we ring up the... the other people? So we've got Don Atelio 6938. Let's do these ones, guys, real quick. 6938. Six, nine, three, eight. Yes, hello. This is Donna Tilia. Help. Can you help me, Father? It's Julia Kay. You know what's happened, right? I know everything, Julia. Now calm down. You can talk to me whenever you want. Come see me at the church in town. Okay, so he was... So he didn't do anything, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to leave the phone. You don't need to talk to the phone. So before we do anything, let's do the... Develop the photo. Go to the dark room now. Not when she's around. I must stay as far away from her as possible. I could go to the cemetery instead to find out whether Martha really was pregnant or not. Let's do that. Okay, so let's go to the cemetery. Where was the cemetery to, though? The cemetery was... Okay, so after a lot of running around, we found out that if we hover over the X, it says the bicycle. Um, 
I went searching forever trying to find the cemetery and I couldn't find it, so. I'm guessing we've got to jump on the bike. So confused. Because Donatello told us to. Get onto the tank. Get onto the tank. Martha is in the family crypt. That place is scary. I don't. That's a. I don't remember, but Nanny told me we used to go there when we were kids to see who was brave enough to go down the stairs. No one would ever go further than the first two steps. It's super weird. Now Martha's down there, alone, in the dark. She must be frightened. So this is the... the crypt? Okay. So it's not really telling us to go here because it was telling us to go down to the, the lake. So that must be a little bug. The crypt is here. Not now. Let's hope the caretaker isn't around. That man gives me the creeps. Lapo. I should water the plants. No one will do it. The caretaker clearly doesn't care. The flowers. Is there a bucket in here? No. Okay. So that's not in there. This is the family crypt over here in the corner. Yeah, it's really weird. I didn't know where I was going, and the map didn't tell me where to go. But okay, here we go. This door is locked, but I must get in. Maybe I can find something around here to break the lock. Maybe we can get onto the bolt cutters that we couldn't have couldn't got in the first place. Um, um. These are perfect for breaking the lock. I should hurry before the caretaker comes back. Where can we find some water to for the uh, the watering can? Just water Lapo's plant before we jump down into the. The watering can is empty. Oh. Um, water, 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 water. No shit, Sherlock. Ah, the water rooms. The water in stations right next to the water in town. Makes sense, right? Now that I have filled the watering can, I can water the plants. Let's go. Okay. If you were in front of me, what would I say to you? Why were that you I'm shagging angry because my you were sister. sleeping with Martha. No, I'm not angry. I'm sorry that you kept everything hidden from me. It stings a little, perhaps, but faced with your loss, everything is now meaningless. I'm happy that they buried you here. We'll be neighbours. I knew that Daddy would allow it even if you were fighting with the partisans. For him, this war is as stranger as it is for me. Goodbye, Lapo. We will meet again soon. It's time to look for Martha. Okay, so let's go down to the... Let's speak to Martha.
Easy. Enough. I can't go on like this any longer. I can't go on pretending nothing happened. My family was slaughtered by these dirty Nazis. My daughter wasn't even buried and I had to bury that half-blood instead. An Italian family that got cosy with the dirty Germans. Bastards, that's what they are. What am I supposed to do with my life now? I want to end it, but not without taking a few Germans down with me. You won't see me anymore, but you will hear about me. Long live the resistance. Viva Italia. Oh, so the caretaker is part of the... Everyone takes a side. I find myself siding with my family, but I'm not sure whether it is right. So what do we come in here for? I thought this is where Martha was. But obviously... Obviously not. So the family crypt must be here? With all the flowers, maybe? Makes sense. Family crypt is locked. The key must be in the caretaker's hut, as always. Oh. So back down we go to the caretakers. Let's go. Um. Instructions for the automatic telephone machine. For example, if you wish to call the number 0573, pick up the telephone from the hook and bring the receiver to your ear. You will hear a continuous tone. Firstly, place your index finger in the hole displaying the number zero. Turn the disc clockwise until it stops. Let the disc return freely to its resting position. Repeat the same steps for the numbers 573. It's not backward and forth in this little piece. Like we could have took the, the bolt tucker, the bolt cutters as soon as we got into there, but we had to come back to it. Okay. Down we go. I can see why we were scared as children. It's a rather gloomy place. That's kind of weird. Okay, so... Wow. So, the son is Martha's baby? May God forgive me for what I'm about to do. I also pray that you, Martha, will forgive me. Okay, here we go again.
the It was true. Martha was pregnant. Pregnant with a deformed fetus with two heads. Twins again. They always said that it ran in the family. Okay. I was all the more shocked. That was weird. I was doing things that I had never done before. I do not know what force was moving me. I became unstoppable. I decided to photograph the horror as evidence to show my mother and to everyone. Who knows why? Okay, so let's take a photo real quick. <laughs> Enough now. I will torture you no longer. I will come back to fix you and I will stay and take care of you. We will spend so much time together. I love you, Martha. Doctor, I must thank you for your help. I wouldn't know what to do without you. Even our own dear Don Atilio seems to not understand the situation. Irena, please, consider the idea of leaving Italy as your husband suggested. It would be better for everyone, especially for the girl. I fear that nothing will make her better. Her father doesn't want to accept it. I believe that hope is long gone. I agree, but in Germany there are better treatments in specialized clinics. The asylum is a temporary solution, just to ensure that she doesn't do anything foolish. But it's a nightmarish place. You know that all too well. You cannot possibly want this for your daughter. Of course I don't. But what can I do? She is a danger to herself, to us, to everyone. One of Eric's guns has also disappeared. She must have taken it. Who else could it have been? I am so scared, Doctor. I cannot wait any longer. Also, you know what they think of Italians in Germany, don't you? But you would be with Erich, an esteemed general. Everyone will respect you. That cursed girl. Where could she be? Let's hope she doesn't play any more foolish stunts. I'll wait for her here, in the cellar. Sooner or later, she'll go to the dark room. That's for sure. I would gladly stay and keep an eye on her. But I must rush to town to organize the last few things for her hospitalization. Thank you, Doctor. Don't worry. We'll see you later. Okay. Whoa. We are inside. Okay. I'm going to leave it there, everyone. Um... I think we're going to get onto a really, really dark bit now that um, I'm going to leave for the next episode. Um, so if you did enjoy this, leave a like. Um, there was a lot of running around today and I'm looking forward to seeing what happens now that we're going to meet the mother. Um, yeah. Leave a like, subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you in the next episode.